He has accused the Turkish government of drug and weapon trafficking, and everyone believes him. But who is he? And do his reveals prove how the Turkish mafia tracked millions of kilos of cocaine and heroin to Europe? Sedat Pekker, a convicted criminal and leader of an organized crime group, has been posting shocking videos on his YouTube channel. His YouTube has enthralled Turkish citizens, with many anxiously waiting for his next post as if it were the next episode of House of the Dragon. Pekker has reported on widespread corruption, claiming that high-profile figures are involved in cocaine smuggling from Colombia. But who are these figures? And why Turkey, a country known for its heroin trafficking, has made a 180-degree shift towards cocaine? Like most things in life, it's all motivated by money. Turkey has been a major way for heroin to get from Afghanistan to Europe for a long time. But in the last few years, there's been an increase in cocaine trafficking, leading to the suspicion the country has become a hub for getting cocaine from Latin America to Europe and the Middle East. It's no secret that Turkey has been a transit point for South American cocaine smuggling to Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. Traffickers have been sending drugs to the country in shipping containers coming through Antwerp and Belgium and, and other European ports. They've also made a habit of smuggling cocaine from Colombia via flights. But the issue has only recently come to the public's attention due to Sadat Pekker's shocking claim that the former Turkish Prime Minister's son is involved in the scheme. And now that the cat's out of the bag, no one is safe. Pekker says that the center of the cocaine trade has moved from Colombia to Venezuela. That's why Ben Ali Yildirim's son, Erkan Yildirim, went to Venezuela there in 2020 to set up a new drug route. The former prime minister responded to the accusations. He went here to distribute COVID-19 tests, masks, and other items to those in need. Could he be telling the truth? I don't know. But the details in Sadat Pekker's story make his claims pretty convincing. He said that there are two reasons for creating a new route between Venezuela and Turkey. The lack of control the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration has in Venezuela is number one. And number two, the country's proximity to Colombia, which is experiencing a surge in cocaine production. But which route do the drugs follow? Cargo ships leave Venezuela's northern port of La Guaira and stop in Panama before continuing to Turkey. While this doesn't appear to be a well-known cocaine trafficking route, the theory is possible with the right connections. After all, cargo carrying scrap metal from Venezuela is known to make its way to Turkey. This suggests that Turkish drug rings are seizing control of new routes to meet European demand for cocaine, which is rising higher and higher. Though none of this has been confirmed, a new investigation has revealed shocking facts pointing to the truth of this information. A 2019 report by Europomol showed impressive new information. Turkish organized crime groups are setting up their own operations to move cocaine directly from South America to Europe. These groups get their cocaine directly from the countries that make it or from places close to them. The gangs use their own shipping networks to send drugs across the Atlantic. Just picture this. An entire fleet of ships carrying literal tons of drugs. This is a modern day treasure. Pirates would be envious. But not everything is great. Police busts have put a stop to the progress. Still, it's been shown how real these new connections are. In August of 2020, 540 kilograms of cocaine were found on a ship from Brazil at the Yil port in Dilovasi, near Istanbul. People believe the seizure showed how committed Turkey is to stopping drug trafficking, at least until some interesting facts started to come out. It turned out that the ship was marked as clean during the first search. The police only found drugs when searching the ship a second time after getting a mysterious tip. Despite this, no investigation into the officials who cleared the ship was launched, and the local customs director who ordered the second search was demoted. That's really suspicious, right? And this is just one of many incidents that have happened recently. So, we already know the drug path and how smuggling is covered up by officials, but what happens when the drugs get to Europe? In the last five years, Eastern European criminals have become the most powerful group in London's underworld and Turkish gangs have risen to the top of the list, in great part because they are downright cruel. This helps them being the best at bringing heroin into the country. They are in charge of 90% of the heroin going to London. The Turkish gangs run most of their business out of the Green Lanes area of the borough of Haringey. Behind the many kebab shops, green grocers, and coffee shops, hundreds of kilos of heroin are stored, cut, and prepared for distribution. But 
Reports show that recently, Turkish mafia groups have also become more active in the world of cocaine trafficking. Just like Sadat Pekar claims showed. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. The Turkish are now directly involved in the massive cocaine smuggling pipeline that runs from South America to Europe. They allegedly have a lucrative partnership with the Cartel of the Sons, a Venezuelan drug trafficking organization that ships them cocaine along with criminal elements from Ecuador. Turkish organized crime has expanded into less traditional cocaine markets, such as Eastern Europe, the Caucasus, and the wealthy Persian Gulf petrostates. This works because there, they have less competition, and they can make a lot more money than they were initially making. The Cosa Nostra and the Turkish Mafia also have close ties. Criminal activities such as drug trafficking, illegal gambling, human trafficking, prostitution, and extortion are carried out in Turkey and European countries with a sizable Turkish community, such as Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium, Albania, and the United Kingdom. It seems like the reign of Turkish terror is everywhere. But could a single man destroy it? Will Sadat Pekar even remain free after exposing such powerful people? The former prime minister has promised to arrest Pekar. The court has already ruled to arrest Sadat Pekar and put him on the wanted list through Interpol. All the while, he remains in an unknown location, capturing the Turkish's attention with his amazing tales. Surveys show that half of the country's population trusts Pekar's claims. The data shows that 48.3% of respondents believe Pekar's claims are true, or at least mostly true. 18% of respondents believe that a small portion of his statements are true, while 22.5% don't trust the statements. Still, that is over 60% of citizens that believe someone high up in the government is, in fact, protecting the mafia groups. The Turkish government claimed that they're pursuing criminal gangs and that they won't stop until every single one of them is brought to justice, but do you believe that? Or has the charismatic YouTube mafia leader gotten into your head, too? We don't know if Pekker will be arrested, but if he does, learning a thing or two from El Chapo might, uh, might help him. Click here to find out how El Chapo escaped a maximum security prison.